we're going to do here is we're going to add some text. So I'm going to um, press the uh, T icon on the top in the tools so I can add some text. So all I need to do is change it to T, click on the composition and start typing. So I'm going to say um, since 2007, the iPhone and let me just double check if that was all the text that I had earlier yep since 2007 the iPhone okay so now once I create the text you know obviously I can change the font size color by clicking on that and switch you know picking any color that I want uh, I can change the text size the letting when I have multiple lines, the kerning, which I did increase here for this text. And then I'm going to switch back to the um, selection tool so I can just kind of center this text. I'm going to move it over to a frame that's sort of empty or lighter so I can see that. Okay, and then what I want to do here is I want to have this start right about now where it starts fading out even a little more like right about here I'm gonna start seeing the text come in so what I can do is I can go to the left side of that timeline layer just like that and shrink it or you know make it smaller the actual length of it so it's gonna start later and then I can keep that for a little while and then it's gonna fade out again. Now, in this previous, you probably can see I have some transitions happening. The first one looks as if I'm typing this in with a typewriter, and then the letters fade away. So what I wanna do is I want to apply the effect right where the end point is. So to do so, I press the letter I, and that will take me right to the end point or the first frame of that specific layer. Okay, so then I go to Animation, Browse Presets, and then if I go under the Presets and go to Text, I see there's a lot of different options here that are available. I really encourage that you guys play around with them and get used to all the ones that are available. I'm gonna jump right to Animate In, and I know that's where the typewriter is, so I can see how that effect applies. So I'm gonna double click on that, and I'm gonna do a quick save before I preview. And now when I play this, it's going to show the um, typewriting effect. <clears throat> I work on a, okay, I'm just going to rewind just a few frames that are already rendered. How can you tell? Because it's green, that means that I can do a full preview now. Okay, there we go. So that's looking pretty good. So that's going to go for a minute. And then I can kind of see that in about the seven second mark is where I'm going to finish. Maybe a little sooner, let's see. I'm going to start playing from here just to finish rendering that section. Yeah, so I see that's going to be there for a minute. And then about the six second mark here is where I'm going to start fading this out or having that uh, fly off effect for the text. So I'm going to do a quick save before I add more stuff to it. And then I'm going to go to browse preset. And one of the things I want to make sure is that I don't have any of those effects selected. Um, so I'm going to just click back outside. Why do I want to do that? Because if I don't do that, as I apply new effects, it's going to try to apply on top of the ones I currently have. So I want to make sure that I extend 
um, this menu, make sure that there's no um, animator, which are your effects, selected. <clears throat> so I'm going to click outside or back into the main layer here. And I'm going to go to Animation, Browse Preset. And now I want to apply the... That one's, I believe, under... No, it's actually under Text. And under Animate Out. Yeah. So the one that I want to use is Random Word Fly Off. So what this does, it... Um, takes one word out at a time. I'm going to double click on that and now you'll see I have two animators. I have the one that is the typewriter which I can rename to make this easier just by pressing return and then I can call this the typewriter and then the second one is the fly off. So then I can see what's what here. Okay so then I have the second word coming out and that's about right. Okay so now because I don't have anything else on the stage for uh, as far as text goes I can go ahead and trim this so while I have the since 2007 the iPhone selected I can press the option in the right bracket and that will trim that layer. Now obviously you can always go to the edge and bring that back. Let's do a quick preview on to see what we have now. Okay, it's almost done. <clears throat> then it's going to stay there for about a second or so to give enough time for the reader to finish reading that sentence. And then it starts fading or flying off. All right, so let's take a quick look at what we Excellent. Okay.